and welcome to MILB On The Road with Ben Hill. This is a riveting, rollicking roundup of news, notes, and above all, nonsense from the world of minor league baseball. In Nashville, construction has started on a new stadium for the Nashville Sounds, who are going to be returning to the same North Nashville neighborhood where their old, old home of Sulphur Dell Ballpark once stood. The new ballpark is certainly going to be a bit different from Sulphur Dell, which hosted pro baseball for 93 years. Pitchers called it Suffer Hell because it was located just 235 feet from from right field fence to home plate. Fans also complained about the aroma at times as it was located next to Nashville's meatpacking district. As for the sound's current home of Greer Stadium, it definitely smells a bit better. The only meat smell you might get there is from the burgers wafting in from Gabby's located across the street, home to some of the best burgers in the United States. When I attended last summer, I got a free pair of underwear as I entered the gates, courtesy of Gildan, and I lost an on-field tire race that was refereed by Ozzy the mascot. Now, Ozzy's not named after the lead singer of Black Sabbath, but you'll still get plenty of rock and roll and country music flavor at Greer Stadium. There's the iconic guitar-shaped scoreboard, for example, and when I visited last season, just the day before, Jack White had been in attendance. The Sounds compete in the Pacific Coast League, and another big story out of the Pacific Coast League this season is that there will be a brand new team, the El Paso Chihuahuas. <laughs> Their stadium is still being built, but once it's done, it will certainly be one of the most distinctive ballparks in all of minor league baseball. That ballpark will open a little bit late in the season on April 28th, meaning that the El Paso Chihuahuas will return to their old home of Tucson, where they played as the Padres, and they will play in Keno Stadium to start the year. Keno Stadium has great sunsets, great nachos, and it'll be a great time to say goodbye for Tucson baseball fans. Meanwhile, 2014 also represents the last season for the Huntsville Stars, as that team is moving to the city of Biloxi in 2015. The Stars play at Joe Davis Stadium, which, like Greer, is a bit dilapidated and run down, but like Greer, it still has its charms. The signage is NASA-themed in homage to Huntsville's aerospace industry, and on the culinary side of things, it is one of the few stadiums in the country to offer boiled peanuts at the concession stand. You can be sure that Huntsville general manager Buck Rogers will have plenty of tricks up his sleeve. Meanwhile, in Biloxi, that city hasn't had a team for over 100 years since the 1908 Sand Crabs, and hopefully that's going to be one of the options in the upcoming Name the Team contest. The Biloxi team will play in MGM Park, which is located on land owned by the Beau Rivage Casino, and it'll be a waterfront ballpark like their neighbors, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Thank you for watching MILB on the road. I am Ben Hill, and hope to see you next time.